Hi, I'm Jean Panikiefner, the Director of Sales at Thursby by Identive. This is part 11 of our 12-part Sabrosa for Android user guide series. In this video, we'll talk about our calendar features in Sabrosa and the many options available there. If you don't know what Sabrosa is, or if you're not sure which app to download, I recommend checking out the first video in this series. A link to that is available in the video description below. Let's get started. To access your calendar within Sabrosa, you will first need to open the OWA Viewer. At the bottom of the folders list are a number of features, including the calendar. When you first open the calendar, the left side panel is exposed to show you the different views available and your calendars. To dismiss the side panel, tap the exposed calendar on the right or swipe the side panel to the left. The default view that is opened is the month view. If you change views between sessions, the last view you used will be the one that is displayed. To create an event, tap the gold plus in the lower right corner of the app window, or double tap the day you wish to add an event. The add calendar event window has the same fields you would find in most calendar apps. When you're adding an attendee, Sabrosa will query the gal for the user's email address and display it for you to select. Once you have finished creating the event, tap Save. Any attendees will be emailed with the option to accept, decline, or tentatively attend the event. You can edit any calendar items you are the creator of by going to the day of the event, tapping on the event you wish to modify, then tap the edit icon in the upper left corner. Once you've made your changes, tap the save icon in the upper right corner. Emails that contain an event sent from OWA or Outlook contain buttons which allow the user to accept, decline, or mark that they may attend the meeting. Accepting an invite in your email will add it automatically to your calendar. To create a new calendar, swipe open the side panel. Tap the edit switch. Tap create. Name your calendar. Tap create. Then tap the box next to the name to place a check in it. Calendars with a check will be displayed. Hidden calendars do not have a check. To delete calendars, swipe open the side panel, tap the edit switch, place a check in the calendar of which you'd like to delete, tap delete and confirm. Once you are finished in the edit menu, tap the save switch to save any of your changes. When viewing your calendar, you can switch between viewing styles by tapping the hamburger menu in the top left corner of the app. To progress to a different time frame, simply swipe to the left to go forward and to the right to go backward. In day or schedule view, you can also tap on the date in the top center to choose from a calendar. In each calendar view, you can quickly return to the current date at any time by tapping on the calendar icon in the top right corner. To leave your calendar, Tap the three-dot menu in the upper right corner and choose to return to the browser or your email. If you have questions about anything you saw in the video today, or if you would like more information on our products, please feel free to reach out to us by phone or email. We'd be happy to answer your questions. The next video will be the final video in our series. In that video, we will review troubleshooting tips and discuss ways of getting further support. Thank you for your time today. I hope you found this video helpful.